Yes, Mom, I'll take it slow. And I promise I'll take that very bland, non-fat, low-salt lunch you left me. Uh, hold on, it's, it's the doorbell. Good morning, Emmy. Oh, good morning, Renee. Oh, my goodness. Do you have any idea what time it is? Isn't this your first day back at work? Don't you need to get dressed? Don't you need to get a move on? Yes, I do, but I'm going slow, just like you told me. Yes, Mama, I will. All right. I love you, too. Bye-bye. Have I told you how glad I am my mother's moved out of my house? Only about 1,200 times. Well, it's the first day back at school, and I'm here to help. Oh, I mean, I don't know if I can do this. Of course you can. I'm serious. One minute I feel fine, and the next I'm just terrified and nauseous. That's because you haven't eaten. Now, I've brought us a wonderful little breakfast, a little heart-healthy oatmeal for you, and some, I don't practice what I preach, pancakes for me. Honey, how does it look when I sit? That looks good. Did Tur give you that? No, 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 not the scarf, my, my neckline. You can't see the scar, darling. You look absolutely beautiful. Thank you. Thank you, Emmy. Uh-huh. Now, to the most important question. What? Where's your syrup? Idea, Joe. Oh, yes, I'm fine. Oh, my. Welcome back to the salt mine. That is so sweet. But you know I'm supposed to be watching my sodium. <laughs> it seems like you've been gone forever. Six weeks, three days, and two hours. Oh, but who's counting? You know how hard it's been around here without you? Oh, well, don't you get too excited. For the next few weeks, I'm going to be leaving here at 1 o'clock sharp. Um, can I get you anything? A, a footstool? Cushion. Back rub? Y you know, you guys, I really appreciate your concern, but please don't treat me any differently than you did before I left. Well, all right, boss. Back to work, then. <laughs> here are some files to get you started. Uh, the top five are urgent. But first, we should talk about Polk Industries. They put an offer on the table, but I've been holding them off. No, 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 no. no. Uh, you know, we have to discuss the Harmon Sodas case. No, no, first, I just need a few moments to myself to settle in. I don't know you're kicking me out already. It's not about you, Joe. Fine. Have it your way. But I'll be back for our 11 o'clock with Mr. Nathan Woods. Wasn't it 12? Uh, well, Lakeisha told me 11, but, you know, I could wait here on your couch if you'd like. Out. Right. You know, uh, I miss that. I mean, I, I, I miss you. But don't worry, not a lot, but I did think of you every day. Did, uh, you think of me every day? Let me help you with that. Joe, it's just paper. Uh, yeah, well, it's heavy paper, and you need to concern yourself more with Mr. Nathan Woods. He's pissed in the conference room. What? Right. I mean, uh, he's in the conference room, and he seems a little angry. What's he angry about? 
Actually, he wanted to fire you. Fire me? I mean, us. I called him in so you could talk him out of it. Joey, I thought you were handling this case. What happened? I guess he missed you, too. Mr. Wood, good morning. It's Woods, with an S. I know I haven't heard from you in six weeks, but the least you could do is get my name right. Woods, of course. Please have a seat. When, uh, when last we met, I believe you didn't have a court date due until... Do you even remember what my case is? Uh, excuse me, uh, Ms. Jackson has undergone an extensive and considerable life-threatening surgical procedure. Joe, 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 please, please. I've had heart surgery, and now I'm healthier than I was 20 years ago. Look, I'm just worried about my case and what your strategy is. Of course. You work for Harmon Sodas, and, uh... You're suing that company because your boss, Sonia Hodges... Supervisor. Your supervisor, Sonia Hodges, assaulted you after you filed an FDA report against her for knowingly releasing batches of diet soda which had sugar in them. At which point you contacted Ms. Jackson to represent you in the case, assuring you're protected under whistleblower laws from any kind of retaliation for filing the aforementioned report to the FDA. So, Mr. Woods, what's it going to be? Would you I'll like keep to you on as long as Lozano here second chairs. Unless that's a problem for you. No. No problem at all. Look at you. Big as a house. Get any fatter, you're gonna need your own zip code. Hey, Shug, got a postcard from Davis. Some school we sent him to. He's visiting some cathedral down in Mexico. Yeah, I saw that. Looks nice. Hey, you about ready? We're supposed to be there in half an hour. You think this is too dressy? <laughs> it's just lunch, Mary Elizabeth. What do you want it to be? I want it to be nice. Well, but it's nice. I'm gonna gas up the truck. I'll meet you out in front in 20 minutes. You don't like this dress? No, I didn't say that. I, you know, I like the ones you got a couple weeks ago, too. You mean a few pounds ago? Yeah, I gotta gas up the truck, sugar. Collier! What? What? Why haven't you said anything? About what? About all this weight I've gained. You gained some weight? Come on, I'm gross, aren't I? Oh, Mary Elizabeth, come on. All right, true or false? You think that I ought to lose a couple of pounds? <sighs> okay, fine. If you don't have the guts to answer either one of those, tell me this. I've been thinking about having liposuction. What do you think I ought to do first, my stomach or my rear end? Oh, don't do this to me, Mary Elizabeth. You know you still look good to me. Still? Okay. So maybe you put on a few pounds. I gotta tell you, I like you having some meat on you. Meat? Meat? I gotta go gas up the truck. I'll meet you out front. Meat? Might as well just wear a great big old hamburger bun. You said you wanted to do this. No, I did not. I'm afraid you did, Renee. Please don't argue with me. Where is it? What are you looking for? My calendar. I swear I left it. Look, just draft a letter regarding the statute of limitations for the Cochran case. Okay. What in the world? <laughs> Joe used your office on and off while you were away, and... Uh... I'm going to have that letter on your desk by this afternoon. Fax it to her house. <laughs> it's good to see you, Turk. Stacy. My midday police. Come on, Renee. You're not out of here in 15 minutes. You turn into a pumpkin. I think my brain already has. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Oh, honey, wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait. Mm -hmm. yeah. I have so much work to I do. I know, but you said you're going to take care of yourself. Yes, I know, I know. Uh, uh, it's uh, just uh, I don't want to hear it, Renee. We're going home. Yes, baby, but... You promised, Renee. Now, come on. You're not going back on your promise, are you? I've been waiting all day. It's just checkers. What's the big deal? Me? Are you feeling all right? Yes. Please stop asking me that. Oh. Elston sent us a letter from Montreal. Here are the pictures. I saw it. Why don't you stay here, Renee? Your dad is leaving at the crack of dawn, and he hadn't been home for the past few weeks. And I hope that changes. It will, baby. Ralph's doing a great job. The SCLC's just trying to keep everybody together. Bobby Seal said Dr. King's death is another reason we need to start defending ourselves. You quoting Bobby Seal now? I'm just telling you what the black kids at school are saying. We're letting them kill us off and not doing anything about it. Renee, we are all still hurting Ivanka Martin. Now, if you want to talk... Can I go now? 
Where are you going? I'm meeting and meet to study. We expect you back here at a decent hour. You just don't want to race because you're scared all day. Oh, call your sims. I am the leg wrestling, rock skipping, home run hitting champion of Greater Birmingham. Just deal with it. Hey, Renee. I thought you guys were going to the game. Wow, it's nice to see you too. We drop by, see if you want to come with. I'm busy. What's wrong? Nothing. At least nothing I want to talk about right now. What I do? You guys can have the place to yourselves in a few minutes. I'm just killing time until 6 o'clock. What's at 6 o'clock? None of your business. Jeez, Renee, lighten up. I want to be alone right now. Then leave. Is this what you're going to tonight? Renee, just leave me alone. Black Panther Party for self-defense. This is not a club, it's a way of life. Our founders, Mr. Huey Newton, Mr. Bobby Seal, and Mr. Eldridge Cleaver have given me the privilege of starting a chapter here in Birmingham. Now you should know, not everyone in this room is Black Panther material. We only want those who are willing to embark on a long and dangerous journey. Yes, sir. I'm Dunbar Nelson, and for those of you who are ready, we bid your warm hello. Hi, I got your message. I'm sorry I couldn't get back to you sooner. It's all right. I almost forgot how to use the phones anyway. Really? That bad? Worst. I was barely through the door and a client almost fired me. Mm, that's not good. Nope. Joe actually had to bail me out, which in itself is humiliating. And then Stacy continues to contradict almost everything I say. Don't you think it was maybe just one of those first day back at school jitters? No, I think my brain just went too long without oxygen and surgery. You want something to eat? No. Why, do I look hungry? No, I just thought you might want to munch on something. Really? You think I might have missed my 7 o'clock feeding? Come on, Emmy. What is up with you? Nothing's up with me. What's up with you? I mean, we're friends, aren't we? Close friends. Feel free to say anything. Friends. Yeah, when have you ever bitten your tongue? I'm not talking about me. I'm talking about you. Why haven't you told me? Told you what? Told me that I'm completely out of control. That none of my clothes fit. I'm eating like I'm going to the chair. Everybody's talking about me behind my back. My husband doesn't find me attractive anymore because I'm a big, fat pig. Well, first of all, I don't think you're a big, fat pig. I mean, I have seen you enjoy a hearty snack more than usual lately, but has Collier said anything? He said he likes my meat. <laughs> don't laugh. It's not funny. I'm just huge. <laughs> you are not huge. So you've gained a little weight. Oh, considering the year you've had, I'm surprised you haven't killed somebody. You put the weight on, you can take it off. Easier said than done. Maybe it's your thyroid. Yeah, wouldn't that be nice? I could just take a pill. Ooh, <laughs> something else to eat. When was your last physical? Physical what? Maybe it's stress, you know? You could join some kind of support group. Oh, if you dare even bring up one thing that has anonymous in it, I'll eat you. <laughs> and to think of all the terrible things that I said about poor fat Daisy upstairs. I mean, food challenge Daisy. Karma's a bitch. It's not karma, Emmy. It's life. It's not life, Renee. It's your recovery, that's all. But I shouldn't be this tired just because I stayed up late working on Nathan's case. Of course you should. I didn't work at all yesterday, and I'm pooped. Hey, boss. Morning, Lakeisha. How you doing? I'm fine. Good. Here's eight new messages to go with the 43 we still have to return. Great. Since you seem to have so much time, why don't you go nose around Harmon's soda? Talk to people about Sonia Hodges. No problem. So, catch me up. Where are we in this case? Well, I'm second chair, so why don't you go first? What's your strategy? Well, Sonia's assault on Nathan is obviously a form of retaliation. That's great. You don't have to be such a cheerleader just because I stated the obvious. Oh, you're a brilliant attorney, Renee. What's wrong? I have to tell you something, and it isn't an easy thing for me to do. If you're looking for your athletic support, it's in the trash. I wondered about that. But no. I have to talk to you about Nathan Woods. He called me last night. And? Yo, you ever heard the phrase, don't shoot the messenger? Just tell me what he said. He wants me to first chair. I see. He's just afraid about your surgery and your stamina. It's all right, Joe. You don't have to explain. Well, there's more. While you were away, there were a few other clients who, you know, 
decided to explore their options elsewhere. Go on. The Browns, you know, the wrongful death case. And, uh, of course, the Friendship Baptist Church. Renee? Yeah. You okay? Joe, I just need to be alone for a few moments. Would you close the door on your way out, please? Kelly and the baby are great. They're just great. He was early, you know, but he's just fine. Starting to get all his teeth. He's so cute. But he'd be reading by next week. Now, I haven't seen you since, what, your ectopic pregnancy that was just over three years ago. Hey, maybe I haven't really gained all this weight. Maybe I'm pregnant. <laughs> what do you mean, all this weight? Well, look at me. I weigh a ton. I was hoping it was hormonal or something, you know, maybe my thyroid or I don't... Mary Elizabeth, let's put this in proper perspective and get you on the scale. Trust me, Mary Elizabeth, you don't weigh a ton. Wait a minute. This is better. Wait, 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 wait. Relax, Mary Elizabeth. Let's find out what the truth is. The truth about the Black Panther Party? There are 10 points to the Black Panther platform. One, we want freedom. That means the power to determine our destiny in our black communities. Two, hey. we want full employment. I'm four. Solomon Forte. Three, What's your name? We want to Renee the Jeff. by the capitalists in Renee. our we want our debt of 40 acres and a mule to be paid. Four, we want housing fit for the shelter of a human being. Five, it's your first we day. want education that teaches the Me too. You want to go show a bunch of rednecks you're not afraid of them? We want all black men to be exempt from A bunch of us are going into Bob Hansen's diner tomorrow night. We're going to talk to the owner about why black folks still get served last when we go in there to eat. Plus, we hear the clans that has meetings down there. If you come, come prepared, because it might get wild. You in? Hey, I got it. I borrowed it off one of the greasers. I'd leave my baseball glove as collateral. Uh, I mean, you're the best. So, uh, you gonna tell me what this is about? You can't tell anyone, not even Collier. You swear? Yeah, yeah, okay, I swear. I joined the Black Panther. Oh, Collier was right. Gosh, that's what you need the jacket for. Yeah, basically. So there's a meeting tonight? Not exactly. Some of us are going to have a talk with somebody. And before you ask, no, you can't come. Well, who said I was going to ask? Renee Jackson, what the hell are you doing with a knife? Calm down. It's just for protection. Renee, I know. I know that some white people are horrible. But you don't you just get can't... it, Emmy, and I don't have time to explain it. Whatever you're about to do, you shouldn't do it. Let go. What happens if you get caught with that knife? Emmy, if you don't let go of me right now, you're going to wish you had. Smells like a skunk in here. What is that? The cabbage soup diet. It's about all I'll be eating for the next five days. Sorry to hear that. I've gained 28 pounds, Collier. That's not that much. Not as much as what, 50, 100? What I meant by that was, you know, it's like, you want fried? Collier, I've just told you I've gained 28 pounds. You're trying to shove french fries down my throat? It's bad enough that you'd never touch me anymore. Now you don't even want to listen to me. I haven't stopped touching you, should. When was the last time we made love? What? Yeah, so you can't even remember. It's not that I have wanted to. But you know, you look at me differently when I'm getting dressed. And you don't even look at me at all anymore when I'm getting undressed. That is not true. And no wonder. I'm just a big old bloated blimp. Well, you know, you're not bloated, Suge. I mean, that can't be all water weight. You're not helping. I'm sorry. So tell me again, how many pounds have you gained? 28. 
Well, that's great. I would have thought it was more. 28 pounds is nothing. Fine. You want a blimp? You'll get one. Slender City. Daily Tai Chi, aerobics classes, personal counseling, massage, 24-hour juice bar. Ooh, can I come? It's $800 a day. Well, maybe a health insurance will pay for it. I don't think so. Dr. Potter called last night. I'm afraid I have some bad news. What? There's nothing wrong with me. Don't do that to me. He said I just need to eat less and move more. And just look at this anorexic model on this brochure. They always do this just to sucker you in. I tell you, advertising absolutely defines this culture, and I'm sick of it. So disgusted with myself, I could puke. Could we just keep this in perspective, please? You've been thin all your life. Most women in this country have never been a size two. I don't want to be fat. Fine, then what's your plan? Make up a plan. Well, the doctor said exercise. He didn't mean chewing. Good. My doctor's got me walking again. Why don't you just join me? Okay, I guess walking's all right. In fact, it's encouraging even more than that. Walking, golfing, sex. Really? Have you tested those waters yet? No, we haven't. But we're getting close. And it's scaring the bejesus out of me. Sexual harassment? Give me a break. I just think her timing is very interesting. What's interesting about it? It's obvious she's desperate to get back at me any way she can. Where the hell is Lozano? In court. He'll be back soon. I think the first thing that we need to talk about The first is... thing I think we need to talk about is where's Joe. Unless you've got some magic up your sleeve I don't know about, I'd rather wait for him. Of course, we'll wait for Joe. Yes? We have any tea on Joe. Oh, about two seconds. Hey, sorry I'm late. You're right on time. I was just telling Nathan that if he wants us to really help him, he's going to have to be completely honest with us. I have been. What are you accusing me of? Sonia Hodges is acting like a woman scorned. It's not that we think you've done anything improper. It's just that maybe something happened that could have been misinterpreted. Like what? Have you two ever dated? <laughs> you really are out of your mind, aren't you? It's an obvious question, Mr. Woods. You obviously haven't had a good look at Sonia Hodges. It would be her lucky day if anybody ever did try to harass her. She's a cow. What? Now what's wrong with her? As if there was something wrong with me. Well, there's nothing wrong with you just because you don't believe the guy. It isn't that I don't believe him. I just don't like him. You want another beer? You tell me. Am I driving tonight? He just thinks that my surgery caused brain damage, and now I haven't got a clue what his case is about, and he takes every opportunity to tell me that ten times every minute. So... What do you think? I think he better stop messing with my lady. I'm going to have to kick his butt, too. <laughs> you would do that for me? In a heartbeat. Mm. You know, I hate it when anybody tries to push you to the wall. Mm. Hey, aren't you hot in this? No, I'm fine. Did I thank you for this lovely dinner? Oh, yeah, I can sure order a mean takeout, <laughs> can I? Oh, yeah. Mm. Um, Turk, I'm sorry. I just, I've got an early morning depot, and I, I'm still not prepared. I've got so much reading to do. It's okay. I brought my briefcase. We'll just read together. Blackwell Peters is representing the auto workers union, and it showed up on my docket for tomorrow. Blackwell Peters isn't representing the auto workers. I am. Uh, you know what? I, I thought you'd said something about that. I, I was just hoping I was mistaken. You've sat here all night knowing that another client dumped me while you just munched on egg rolls? I didn't know for sure it was your case, Renee. Yes, you did. All right, yes, yes, I did. Then why didn't you tell me? Because I didn't want to upset you. Well, you did. Oh. Well, I guess it's all over town now that I'm some kind of inept attorney. Oh, come on, that's just stupid, ignorant fear, Renee, and it's not true. Then why didn't you tell me? Why well, haven't six of my other clients answered my phone calls, and even my own staff is questioning me, and now you? All right, I'm sorry, Renee. Turk, the truth isn't going to hurt me, but keeping it from me is. Look, I... 
if you don't mind, I... I think I'd just like to take a hot bath and go to bed. Okay. So are we, uh... Are we still on for tomorrow? Yeah, sure. I'll cook. I'm not breaking up with you. I just... I just need to be alone. I'll call you tomorrow. Yeah, I kicked his ass. He deserved it. Why did you feel he deserved it? He had been harassing me for months. What do you mean by harassing you? He pulled up porn sites on my computer and left it for me to see. Oh, he also wiped something wet and sticky across my face and asked me to guess what it was. Did you report this harassment to your superiors? Hell no. I thought I could handle it. And you may not believe me, but I'm not the type that wants trouble. But it finally got to the point, well, I finally threatened him. And I told him if he didn't quit messing with me, his days were numbered. Very next day, he files an FDA report on me. Ms. Hodges, did you ever authorize improperly mixed batches of diet soda to be shipped to distributors? Diet soda and regular soda run through the same machine. Some of the diet batches had a little sugar in them, but they were well within the FDA guidelines. That's why the FDA dropped their investigation on me, and Nathan was just looking for something to get me in trouble. And you would be willing to testify to this under oath? I would look forward to it. Miss Hodges, if my client did harass you in ways that you allege, why did you wait until he reported you to the FDA to sue him for sexual harassment? It took me three years to get promoted. I am the only lead female on that line, and I got two kids. I didn't want to get fired. You a sister, you understand? Truly think that the way the white folks is defining book of the of the Harlem Renaissance? No doubt about it. I mean, come on, Langston is the man. Oh, please, I'm gonna revoke your black license. <laughs> Have you ever read Their Eyes of Watching God? Quickly. Ah, oh, you are such a typical man. You prefer Langston Hughes over Zora Neale Hurston? Now, wait, 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 wait. Is this one of those conversations that we care about but would bore everybody else to tears? Yes. Good, I love those. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Louis Armstrong, Ella Fitzgerald. How look you get me through in a pinch? Oh, you are <laughs> such a sexist swine. Ow, ow. Oh. Mm. <laughs> get away from me. Mm. Better stop doing that or else. Or else what? <sighs> No, no, it's, it's, it's okay. It's, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's my fault. It's my fault. <sighs> Just... I'm so afraid to let you see me like this. Renee, when I was a kid, I had polio. My whole right side was paralyzed for three months. I mean, even after I got better, it took me another three years before I could move about without feeling that everybody was staring at me, you know, feeling sorry for me. I know, Renee. Look, I want to be with you, but only when you're ready, not before. Thank you. I just need a little more time, that's all. It's okay. Just a phase, Mary Elizabeth. It is not just a phase, and I'm worried about her. Well, then fine, worry. But I don't think there's anything you can do about it. Well, I can talk to her. You know, come on, let's go. I'm afraid something's gonna happen to her. Happen to who? Renee, she joined the Black Panthers. How awful. All they wear is black, as if this skin wasn't dark enough. Somebody should give them a copy of Vogue. You're unbelievable. And you're lazy. Now get in here and help me clean this kitchen before Mother and Daddy get home. Well, I can't. We're going to Renee's. If you don't SOS those pots and pans, I'm gonna tell Mother that you two are nothing but a pair of sex-crazed animals. I just saw my arm around there, Teresa. Trust me, that's how it all starts. Yeah, well, you should know. Come on, you wash all dry. And then we'll go to Renee's, right? Right. Okay. Oh. 
All right, you guys, keep an eye on the ladies. Renee, you cool? I'm cool. Let's do it. Panthers. We want to know why blacks still get treated like slaves when they come in here to eat. Call as many pigs as you like, they don't scare us. Sharp today. You better kiss up to me after leaving your dirty gym clothes in my desk drawer. Don't even. I need your advice. I'm thinking about dropping Nathan's case. You've seen how disrespectful he's been to me. Please don't tell me you're dropping a client because he hurt your feelings. No. I just think that there's more behind Nathan's behavior than just insulting me. What do you think? I think he's worried about his case. It's never easy for any male accused of sexual harassment, and just because he was rude doesn't mean that he's guilty. I suppose you're right, but if you are, then why do I believe Sonia? My gut tells me that this whole whistleblowing thing on Nathan's part is just a smokescreen. What's real is Sonia's sexual harassment suit. Fine. You're the boss. That doesn't mean that I'm right. It sure doesn't. So you don't believe me? No, I don't. Then argue with me. Joe, if you care about me as much as you say you do, then, then stop yesing me to death with balloons and, and treat me like you did before my surgery. Be stubborn, be belligerent, be an ass. Be yourself. I will if you will. What is that supposed to mean? You've been leery of this guy from the start. The Renee Jackson that I know would drop somebody in a second if she felt like it. Now, if you don't want us to treat you with kid gloves and stop looking to us for assurance every time you take a breath, it was your heart that got fixed, Renee, not your gut. Great salad, Kel. Thank you, Daddy. Iceberg lettuce is mostly water. Uh, goes right through you, Mrs. Sims. You are looking good, Sugar. I can tell the difference already. I lost one pound. I thought it was two. I gained it back. Maybe you should eat less salad. Now, see, this is good, Mrs. Sims, not eating everything on your plate. I once had a friend that lost five pounds just by eating smaller portions. Here you go. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. Vegetable and protein. I mean, that, that is the way to go, Shug. And lots of water. And, of course, no desserts. You wouldn't happen to have any of that chocolate left over from your hospital visit, do you? More. I thought you were trying to be good. Well, I was, but trying implies failure, and that's really too much pressure for me right now. Well, Kelly made a dinner tonight that wasn't fit for a rabbit to eat. Got me so upset, I just started to hallucinate. I had to jump right in the car and cry all the way over here. So this is emotional. Just because I'm sad, angry, desperate, and out of control does not mean that this is emotional, so don't you even mention shrink to me. End of story. How was your first week back at work? I've lost my confidence and my clients are firing me left and right. And just when I thought I was handling it, I caught Turk withholding information from me because he didn't want to upset me. Now, why should I be upset? My business is going under. And now I realize that my boyfriend is ready to make love, except that I'm terrified to have him see me with my clothes off. Hell, I am terrified to see me with my clothes off. All I see is a huge, ugly scar from my nose to my navel. Basically, my life is over. So can I make you a sandwich or something? You better come clean with me, young lady, unless you want to spend more time in here. Thank you. 
I'll be back in 10 minutes. Daddy. I haven't bailed you out yet. You've got one chance to convince me why I should. Going to jail used to be a source of pride for this family, Renee, but you, when your mother called me in Atlanta, I said, that's not my child. It must be a mistake. It wasn't a mistake. A knife, Renee? Your mother so upset she couldn't even come down here. And on top of it all, you lied to her. Said you were studying with Mary Elizabeth. Why, Renee? They think killing Uncle Martin is going to stop us. We wanted to show them it's not. Show who? Racist whites. So you showed them you were ignorant instead. Bob Hansen is a hard-working man. You don't have the right to destroy his property. The Panthers don't stand for stupid violence. I spoke to Dunbar Nelson tonight. You what? Well, did you forget who you were? Did you think you could just walk into a meeting of the Black Panthers and me not hear about no, it? No, but you shouldn't. Well, he said that he didn't understand why some kids who weren't even members of the Panthers would go out and start trouble using their name. We weren't trying to hurt anybody. Well, you did, young lady. You hurt people who love you. And even though I don't agree with all the Panthers' methods, at least they stand for something. Do you even know what the Panthers are about? About what they want to do with the children? About the black men they want to put on the juries? They stand for something. What do you stand for? I'm just tired of feeling like a target. What's the point of the movement if our leaders keep dying? Whatever we do, we get hit over and over and over, and I just wanted to hit back. Renee. Baby, do you know how many times I've wanted to hit back? Shoot back for something they've done to me or someone I love? But those are pointless battles, baby. They will not win us the war. Get your things for going home. Mama says I have to wash the dishes for the next three months because of what I did. You pull them off and end up in jail, and all you have to do is wash the dishes? They'd cut my legs off if I did that. No. Oh, sorry, Renee. Hey, maybe if we break all the dishes, your mother won't make you wash anymore. As horrible as the whole thing was, there was a moment when I felt so strong. That man in the diner was actually afraid of me. I've never gotten that reaction from anybody. Yeah, well, I bet the Black Panthers get that reaction a lot. Not really. The Panthers don't go around starting fights. Those guys I was with were just some stupid kids. So now you can't be a Panther anymore? Daddy said if I want to go to another meeting, I can. You could come if you want. There were white people there. Really? Dunbar Nelson is going to give me some literature to read so I know what their real philosophy is. Can I read it too? Sure. You want to go to Iverson's and get some candy? If you promise not to destroy the place. Promise. Ooh, and maybe two chocolate malls. Uh, with whipped cream. And a cherry on top. <laughs> this whole experience hasn't exactly been a trip to the candy store. Sexual harassment seldom is. Uh, hey, Renee. Miss Jackson. Mr. Woods. I really don't appreciate waiting for you like this. I understand. I've been giving your case a lot of thought. About time. And I've been giving you a lot of thought, and I've come to a few conclusions. First, I'm tired of you threatening to fire my ass every 10 minutes because I'm not jumping through the right hoops. So I have good news. I'm firing you. We've already filed. You can't do that. I just did. Now, I could cite legal reasons, such as my belief that you've retained this firm under false pretenses, knowing that Miss Hodge's attack on you was provoked by other circumstances. And if I were to continue, I would be knowingly pursuing a frivolous lawsuit and be in violation of Rule 11. But I'm not firing you because I believe you're a liar. I'm firing you because you're a sexist, opportunistic, arrogant, deceitful horse's ass, and I have more respect for my dog's excrement than I do for you. In short, I just can't get excited over your stupid case. Good day, Mr. Woods. The express elevators are down there on the left. I wouldn't waste any time getting out. Bye-bye. She's back, she's back. Glory, glory, hallelujah! She's back. Did these after I Emmett? And the weight just fell right off. And you gained what when you were pregnant? All of three pounds? Not true. Well, 
Thank you for doing these with me. I don't know if I'd do it by myself. Oh, I'm just glad you asked for help. You know, you, you can drop this weight. Yeah, I know I can. I've been really good the last few days, too. I even threw out all the junk food in the house. Well, that's great. Okay, now, uh, feet apart and touch your toes. You ready? Okay. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, and to the right. Two, three, four, and left. Two. This can't be healthy for you. What is that? What? Huh? Under the couch. What? Uh, nothing. It's a. Just, that's, a that's a dust ball or something. Just leave it and I get it later. I said I get it later. These aren't dust balls. These are these are cookies. Well, I, 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 I'll throw them out later. I thought you said you already did. Well, I must have forgotten those. Mom, you lied to me about cookies. Just give them to me. Fine, eat them. You, we love you, but we can't help you if you're not honest with us. You know, don't call me again, okay? Not until you come clean with yourself and with everybody else. Hi. Uh, my name is uh, Mary Elizabeth Sims, and... Uh, I was referred by Dr. Potter. Yes, I'd like to make a cancellation. I mean, uh, an appointment. Appointment. Yes. The nature of my problem? Food. Yeah. What you read? I'm giving your favorite author, Zora Neale Hurston, a second chance. Hmm. Well, maybe I'll dig out Langston's autobiography later. I said maybe I'll dig out Langston's autobiography later. That's not a concession, is it? Never. Good. I will concede that I'm exhausted. Yeah, me too. It's getting late. Yeah, um, you should probably be in bed, huh? 